Hello again, everybody. The next car that you selected to view on. Jeremy, where are we at today? Once again, ClassicMuscleCars.com. ClassicMuscleCars.com, the foremost internet website on the net, right? You got it, man. It's an awesome place to be, and we appreciate everybody that comes, and we appreciate all the emails that you send us, and we appreciate your input, because you know what? We're only as good as you make us, right, Jeremy? Yep. I want to tell you, I've got a sweetheart car here today, and I'm real high on it. I really, really love this car. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, okay? 69 Javelin SST. Now, the Javelin cars are basically the same body style as the AMX, only you got a back seat. So when you got one of these cars, like the AMX, there was no back seat. You got one of these, you got a back seat in it. This, folks, is a gorgeous and extremely rare American Motors product. It's matted or red, but you know what? It's got a platinum interior in it, coated right from the factory. So you, you ever heard that Three Dog Night song? What is it, Jeremy? One is the loneliest number. One is the loneliest number, right? Yeah. Well, you know what, folks? There's what you're looking at. One. Okay? I've never seen another, and I don't think there's another one out there. That's why I went nuts when I heard about this car. It's like, man, I got to get it. I love it. You know, because all the years that I've been doing this, you know, all the cars that you deal with, GTOs, Chevelles, Camaros, 442s, et cetera, et cetera, there's a lot of those cars out there. But when you get into these types of cars, there's not very many to start with, and there is not another one like this anywhere, period. This car just got back from the American Motors Nationals, AMC Nationals, and it was a hit because it's gorgeous, number one, but it's so, so rare. When you see this and Jeremy goes around you and he'll show you this, the interior is just unbelievable. It just blows your eyes out. I mean, everybody has seen red-white combinations, red-white stripes, red-black stripe with a white interior, right? The plant I'm here is and, and they're rare to, to get an original red car with white interior because in a muscle car, a lot of guys didn't think it was manly. We got to have black interior, me included, my 72 Chevelle Supersport is in the building here, red, black top, black interior. No way was it going to have white, man. No way. That was sissy stuff back in the muscle car era. You didn't have a muscle car that had a white interior. So you know what? If they're born white, they're rare. Well, guess what? Try a platinum interior to find one in any American Motors cars that was built during the 60s and early 70s. Never seen nada, nada, nada. Seat covers were done by legendary special order because they didn't make them. Extremely rare. I love this car. Now let's talk about it a little bit. Okay, this has got a 290 Typhoon engine in it, four barrel. It's got power steering, power brakes. It's got tilt, buckets, console, factory tack. The tack works in the car. It's got air conditioning, okay? It's just a gorgeous interior. It's all brand new. The car has got a remote mirror, so it's got a lot of options on it. There wasn't many of these cars that were built that had a whole lot of options. They were a lot of stripped down cars. Factory wheels on it, it's got brand new paint, detailed under the hood, brand new interior, new weather stripping on it, rust free body, runs, drives, stops, steers, all the lights, everything works on the car, no issues. Just a fantastic car. Now, I want to point out something else to you, and Jeremy can show you this when he comes around to do this video. This is something that's really cool that American Motors did on the Javelins in 1969 that almost all the other GM cars and even the Fords, for example, the Mustangs, didn't do. On the hardtop cars, they'd put a vertical seal, and that was stainless, okay? What they did with this particular car is they wrapped stainless around the windows, just like 55, 6, 7 Chevys, that type of thing, only those, those were pot metal. This is stainless. This is really a, an extra thing that they didn't have to do, folks, but this was just the quality of the cars that they were building. So keep in mind, if you got a Camaro like this, you are, you're not going to get this. You got a Mustang, you're not going to get this. This is really cool stuff here. 
Jeremy can show you this when he goes around, but my point is that these cars were really underrated in the 60s. They were excellent, excellent built cars. So you get one of these cars today, and it's made it all through all these years, they're still a stand-up car. This car has only got, I believe, Jeremy, 64,000 original miles on it. So you got something that's a super rarity here because of what it is. And you know what? I can't tell you after all these years how hard it is to find even an SST or a Javelin in this kind of condition, let alone one that's as rare as this car. Now, give us a call, 847-526-5950. This is a gorgeous car. We have it here to sell it. Right, Jeremy? Yep, all of mine. It's not a museum piece. The American Motors products, folks, have been going up, 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 up. Last year, in the fall, the Wall Street Journal did an article about the uh, American muscle cars. One of their top picks out of the top 40 investment cars, number one pick was American Motors cars, okay? That's because they've been so underrated, they are... Got a fresh album while we're here. Let's check out the. This little insignia back here, looking good too.